Well, hello there, guys. How's it going? We're back here with some more campaign series, Middle East, and we're playing something called Operation Kadesh. Uh, it's 1956, and we're playing as the Israelis. We have a nice group of units here, uh, some light tanks, things like this, a tremendous amount of IDF rifle divisions and rifle platoons, uh, and of course, this represents the land of Israel. Um, and we're facing a massive defensive force held by the Egyptians. As you can see, this is the location. <clears throat> now, this particular um, battle only lasts eight turns. So we have eight turns to storm this position and get a victory. It's not easy, but we're going to try to do it anyway. I do want to say that the last campaign did have a little corrupted save file, so it, we didn't manage to continue it, but that's okay. I think this battle is going to be a lot more fun anyway, so let's get started, guys. So we're going to first of all move forward here. We're going to have to get out in the open, unfortunately, initially, uh, and we can actually go ahead and start targeting the enemy units immediately so let's go ahead and i'm gonna have to fire individually because there's so many enemies so let's fire at these units no effect right there let's get the machine gun to fire at them nice guys we already have the uh one of the rifle divisions here on the egyptian side retreating at our superior firepower and if we can push these guys back well that's going to be exceptional of course let's go ahead and grab these guys oops sorry Trying to switch over here to movement. Shame on me. Move forward. I think the distance here is actually too far for us to get any shots. It doesn't mean I'm not going to try, but I do think it's too far. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so every single one of our men fired there, and we reduced by three. We killed three of the Egyptian defenders. That is a really nice shot. As you can see, the enemy also has laid mines all throughout this area, and they've got a bunch of uh, positions here that are worth 100 points, 50, 50 points, etc. Um, we're basically just trying to overrun all of these positions um, as quickly as we can. So I'm going to move these guys into this formation here, or this formation, this area. Do the same with these units. But this is, of course, going to be a slow and gradual process because this terrain, it's it's very rough. Um, and to make it across, it's not just going to be, you know, a one, two, three process. We actually have to do quite a lot of moving, quite a lot of running here uh, to get into position quickly. And I think what we're going to do with these units up here in the north is basically start an encirclement formation uh, from the north, of course, and come down on the Egyptians from there. So let's keep on moving here in Operation Kadesh. And I doubt, once again, we can get any shots from here even after we get our action points back. Uh, over here, we're going to do the same, although I want to take a look there. There's an enemy group over here. It seems pretty strong, and it's also uphill. But if we destroy it, we get that position. That being said, if we push and take that central position, we can take that 150 position as well. So I think going for the center is the, is the most important thing right now. Um, we can eventually focus on that other area, but right now, let's let's focus on getting to the center here. Uh, I'm going to move these tanks up. I think they're tanks anyway. Oh, one of them was forced back, an AMX-13. We can actually take a look and see what kind of vehicles these are. But if we see we're getting shot at already, maybe we can start firing at the enemy from here. Uh, I don't know what's shooting at us. It's probably that gun. Yep, AT gun. Open fire on the AT gun, and we eliminated it. Beautiful. So that's going to make it a lot easier for the rest of our vehicles to move up. I don't think these guys have any more movement points. They certainly do not. But let's grab these half tracks and move them up. And obviously, if those half tracks um, have had have have had uh, would have had to move, um, finally got it there. Um, they would have absolutely been shot down by those AT guns. So now they can get a lot closer here. They probably have men on board, which we can of course drop off and attack this position with. But like I said, I think these two central positions are the most important. That would give us 250 points. That one's going to give us 100 points. And it looks like back here, they've got near Rafa, which is, of course, an Egyptian city. They've got another location. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to put the pressure on all areas here. Um, so, we'll do that for sure. Let's move forward. <clears throat> Not a bad start, honestly, guys. Now, if we could get another shot off, that would be a beautiful start. And I want to see if we have any artillery uh, and or some maybe some uh, air units. As you can see, there's all these minefields we have to watch out for. We've got to be very careful not to walk over the mines, because that's absolutely going to cause casualties. Grab these boys here. We've got some uh, Captain or Colonel Jablinski. Uh, so we've got some Israeli heroes here. Want to make sure they don't get hurt. Up 
with this area. And look at all of those artillery pieces. That's got to bring in a serious amount of damage, right, guys? It has to. And we've already moved most of our units forward, but we can keep on moving a few more units back here. We've got plenty of reinforcements. And remember, this battle represents the actual war, uh, or part of the war between Egypt and Israel. So it's actually a, quite a big war. Uh, this is not a small conflict by any stretch of the imagination. 120 millimeters. Oh, my gosh. The amount of uh, artillery we have here. Let's just say I hope it works out the way I think it's going to. We are going to absolutely blow the Egyptians apart with this one uh, barrage. definitely have units in there which we will be able to use eventually but right now we'll keep them back and uh with this prime mover i guess we'll move them forward but i'm going to keep most of these other units back uh and now i'm going to start using the artillery on the enemy i cannot wait so let's use that arty guys let's see what we've got oh my gosh so much um so this mortar can't seem to reach that location let's get the 105 millimeter that will definitely reach the location let's get the 155 millimeter model fire here fire here oh my gosh this is so cool we can also eventually move these artillery guns forward uh but i'm basically just dropping rounds everywhere this is an epic bombardment uh now they are dug in but i still think we're going to be able to do some serious damage let's also hit some of their units back here they've got some commanders here so obviously getting a commander kill would greatly lower the enemy's morale um, and i think i'm also going to get these mortars to fire at these locations also this one right here I can't wait to see how this works out. But I'm sure that the enemy is going to have a pretty nice uh, resistance set up. So we should also have dropped some units there. But that's fine for now. Uh, do we have any air support? Oh, please say yes. No air support. Well, I'm not going to complain. That's still a really cool setup. Let's see what happens, guys. We're going to end the turn here. And let's hope for the best. <clears throat> oh, they're definitely firing at our vehicles be expected we probably should have targeted their at guns but i decided to have one there on the first round and it might cost some of our guys their lives <laughs> so we are still firing at some of their at guns but we didn't specifically target them oh man you're the luckiest jeep in the world don't ca don't count your blessings yet but now you can count your blessings oh my goodness they just destroyed uh, our three and there were some passengers inside we might want to drop our passengers now, just so they don't get destroyed by uh, enemy artillery units, and probably bazookas, things like that. Because um, right now, I think they're actually using a lot of their units uh, just to get these kind of kills. Have no fear, boys. I do wish we had a few tanks, though. But this is still early in the war. I believe this is 1957, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 19, or, yeah, it's still it, it's early in Israel's history, essentially. Uh, let's put it that way. So it looks like they're moving back to defend these other points near the Rafa Junction. Got the Rafa camps over here. The Egyptians are a hell of a fighting force when when they're packed together. You know, when they have their commanders, especially. Uh, when they lose their commanders, they seem to fall apart pretty quickly. But uh, we'll see what happens with these artillery bombardments. If they go well, we could end up doing extremely well in this initial assault. But we've got, you know, only a certain amount of turns uh, to take all of this land. I mean, this is a proper war. Let's put it that way. Nice! We actually did some return fire there and killed three of them. Three down. That's beautiful, guys. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of these guys in, in these trenches are starting to move. I don't like that. I hope they'll stay put in their trenches. And it looks like they were bringing out some tanks. Yeah, those are absolutely some sort of tank or, or armored personnel carrier. That's, that's going to be a problem for us. Let's just put that mildly. Oh, man, they're moving out a lot of these units. It's like they know we're going to open fire on this location. As you can see, that's one of their AT guns there, so we might still get a strike on that AT gun. Uh, and a lot of those units are still staying put, so I'm hoping that that's going to give us some decent shots.
definitely some enemy tanks. They're really trying to boost up these defenses. They're leaving a lot of their positions behind to get to what seems to be the important ones and also to move to higher ground because uh, they know that our guys seem to be moving up without much difficulty. So we might end up not getting any hits with these huge bits of artillery. I mean, we're throwing like 155 millimeter shells at these guys. Some of the best artillery you can find, but it looks like they're staying out of the way. And if I'm not mistaken, I may have just seen some civilian units there. I think the enemy might have... Oh, no, that, those actually look probably more like militia units. We'll get a closer look anyway uh, when the turn begins. But you can tell that um, this is going to be a long, long campaign, guys. So I hope you'll stick stick with us until the end. I'll make, make sure to make two save files so we don't lose uh, this one. But, man, do they have a lot of units here. We've got to start reducing the number of units the Egyptians have because with this, they can absolutely resist us. Um, you know, at this, at this stage in history, Israel was not um, as strong as it is today. So it was a lot harder for them to win these conflicts. Uh, but it looks like our initial attack worked out pretty well. It was a small attack, but it worked out okay. We've also got four airstrikes remaining, um, so we could still use those. But let's see what happens here. Airstrike has been recalled. I wonder why. So maybe since the enemy moved out. And look at that. We disrupted the rifle squad there. Nice, we killed one unit in the enemy rifle squad as well. So you see, we're still getting some hits with this already. It's not too bad. No effect on the AT gun, unfortunately. There we go, we destroyed one of their six-pounder AT guns. That's the only real threat at this point. And we forced a retreat by the rifle division. I love it, guys. Totally disrupted the AT. Didn't destroy it, though. And this is where we're trying to hit their leaders. Lieutenant Colonel Aldami can still survive that one. And we killed somebody and actually that uh, mortar squad, or the radio squad, excuse me. And somebody in the carrier rifle squad. I wonder, I wonder what a carrier rifle squad is. Say what you will, guys. I still think that was pretty effective as far as artillery goes. Um, we did all right. Now, of course, we need to turn our attention to the remaining enemies here. I'm going to go ahead and try to wipe out that AT gun here with a shot from our um, half tracks. Oh, there we go. And yeah, we completely eliminated the AT gun. The enemy's running away because they know that we're on the way here, and we could probably get some pretty good shots on them. Uh, I do want to move away from these airstrikes, but also away from the mines, or actually possibly artillery strikes, and I don't think we have enough. Oh, we do have enough action points to attack the enemy, and reduced one. Not bad. Looks like we get another shot as well. Nice. Reduced by four with that rifle squad. So these AMX units, let's take a look at one of them. Um, I don't even know what the heck these things are. The French AMX light tank. Oh, a 75 millimeters gun with a 12 round auto loader. The light tank could rapidly engage targets. That's why even after moving, we still got two attacks. So this vehicle may potentially have the ability to do three attacks. How cool would that be? Uh, first of all, I wanna see if we can get any shots on the enemy here. If we can, I'm gonna remain here with our half tracks. Um, oh, mortars? Okay. I guess that works. I am confused, but hey, mortars, mortars it is. Um, let's see what's going on here. So we should start engaging the enemy in this position. 
But honestly, we might just be better off overrunning this position. I just wonder if we can make it here with this unit before getting totally crushed by Artie. Let's see. Oh! No effect. We're okay. Oh, keep it. Come on, boys. Get in the trenches. Get in the trenches. Damn it. All right, yeah. We're definitely going to have to open fire on these guys first. Okay, we did get in the trenches. So actually, we can potentially go for some attacks now. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do that yet, but just something to think about. We're going to have to get over here into this area. So let's grab these units. And as for these units, I'm going to have them target uh, the enemy so that the guys that are in the trenches here have fewer men to contend with, of course. Three, to three killed. Beautiful. And the unit is disrupted. And this is an engineer platoon. I'm not sure they can engage. I don't think so, yeah. But we can at least get them a bit closer. Maybe they can engage from here. Probably not. Those action points are at two. Yeah, no. They couldn't engage even if they wanted to. Because they have to get a bit closer to the enemy here. That being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this uh, particular part of the Let's Play. Of course, we're going to come back with more later, uh, but I want you guys to keep supporting the series. Hit that like button, comment down below, share it with your friends. Uh, we really want to try and get people interested in these niche strategy games so that we can grow this awesome community. Uh, right now, the Yom Kippur War continues, and hopefully we get an overwhelming victory over the Egyptians. But I'm not really sure what's going to happen. We're going to have to wait and see. Grab these boys. We'll try to get at least one more shot off before we end. Although I can't promise anything. Yeah, I think we're actually too far to fire any shots as far as I can tell. Got a bunch of uh, these. We'll use those next turn, of course. I'm just trying to get as many of our units up as I can. So this advance was a very quick advance by the Israeli army, as you can imagine. Uh, and we're trying to relive that experience here in this battle. Uh, just advance as quickly as possible. Surprise is really what is going to win us uh, this particular campaign if we manage to win. So surprise uh, and, uh, and, and quickness, essentially. We're basically using blitzkrieg tactics. Move these guys forward, too. And these guys, of course, can stay put for now. All right, guys, we'll be back in the next one. I wish I could keep playing, but I'm going to have to stop at this point and wait for the next part of the battle. Take care, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.